Hello everyone, and welcome to Graveyard Shift. A game which, I'm gonna be honest here, I know almost nothing about. One of you suggested it on the Discord, I had a look, saw the banner art, and immediately bought it. See, what this game is, is almost a modern gothic work simulator, in which we are the keeper of this graveyard. So, hello, here's this game ticking like six boxes at once, dropping out of nowhere. I'm not even gonna bother to, like, I'm not even gonna bother to talk anymore, let's just play it. <laughs> I can't wait, I am so excited. In the silence of the night, demons ambush our thoughts, and madness unfurls its flag in our hearts. For sometimes the darkest corners of our minds have their own demonic allure. Somebody whose name I didn't see. This is like the opening to every 70s religious horror movie. Oh, look how dead this place is. The leaves on the ground, the fog rolling over the cemetery. And we're, I guess, about to meet our predecessor, perhaps? Whispering Winds Graveyard. <laughs> it's almost like they wanted this place to be haunted. Uh, hey. I'm Ooh. glad. To see you, and I'm sure we've hired a great guardian. Glad to see you too. Okay, so that's a little janky. You maybe want to move your mouth a little when you talk. I know that during the first few nights, you might not feel comfortable in this place and may be a bit scared, but you'll get used to it soon. I was born used to it, buddy. This cemetery is the most peaceful place at night, and you'll find enjoyment in the tranquility and silence of this place. Cool. I imagine the tranquility starts when you leave. Of course. You need to be very vigilant and make sure no one enters. You should know that many famous people are buried here. Go to Johnny's to get all the details from him. Uh, so you won't be leaving? Who's this Johnny? Okay, so it's a little rough around the edges, but uh, the atmosphere is 100% on point. Oh look, the water dripping from the trees. This is gorgeous. It feels so aged, all these cobblestones being pushed up and, well, pushed out in some places. All the candles adorning the graves. Alright, so... Johnny, Johnny... Uh, oh, we have a map. Go to the security room and talk to Johnny. Okay, so it's right around back of the church, right? Oh, so we're gonna be managing all of this several locations within, yeah. If I look through the window, I can see inside. Mister, don't do that. And we can sprint. Yeah, the the mouse look is a little weird. It's like it almost slows down the farther I get from the point of origin. It's subtle, but it's I, I feel it. You must be the new night shift guard. You should know that guarding your cemetery isn't easy. The cemetery is equipped with CCTV cameras due to the burial of many famous individuals. You must regularly check the cameras and never let anyone in. Tonight, the cemetery has three guests. Due to the time constraints and a lack of proper and secure mortuary around the city, they had to store the bodies of the ghost rock group here tonight. 
tomorrow the funeral for these will be held, and you must be very attentive at the cemetery. The Ghost Rock group? And I guess they all died at once in some way or another. Bus crash or something? There's something very important that the priest told me not to tell you, but I'll share it with you. The previous night shift guard died of a heart attack. And we found his body at the church door with a bluish complexion and a terrified look on his face. I don't want to scare you, but I thought it's better that you know and stay more alert. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please contact me. Remember to regularly check the cameras. You don't want to scare me, but you want to leave me with this information that on its surface has nothing to do with anything. And, in fact, I can do nothing about if it does. Well, doodles. Now, let's get to work. Uh, okay, so we need to keep this place secure, but we cannot close the gates. Cool. Awesome. Uh, and we can hit Q and eat a lean. So I wonder if we'll maybe have to hide at some point. All right, so what are we doing? Ask the guy to get out of the cemetery because the opening hours are over. Uh, okay, where's the guy? Uh, it says switch with the middle mouse button and right click to zoom and pan, but I can't do anything as far as I can tell. And maybe we'll get some more to look at later. All right, where's, where's the guy? Oh, there you are. You're tall. All right, Lurch, time to go home. Uh, excuse me, oh my sir. God. I must ask you to leave this place. This cemetery is closed from 5 p.m. onwards, and I have to lock the gate. I was joking about the lurch thing, or are you doing a bit right now? Maybe I should make a note of whose grave you were looking at? Uh, I can't actually see that. All I know is I'm seeing a lot of W's and S's and K's, so maybe this game is Polish? Alright, well now that that's done, we gotta close the gate. Okay, so we were just waiting for him to get out of here. Now, this guy is 100% moonlighting as a vampire hunter, and, well, I might even tolerate his presence if he'll teach me his ways. He seemed nervous. Did he get upset by my words? Well, nobody likes being told what to do. I mean, imagine if we had asked him to wear a mask. Alright, enter the security room and check the CCTV. Oh, boy. Now let's study this map, because it says fuse over there. Oh, we could lose power. In which case, we'll have to venture out into the graveyard. Hang on, before we do that, I'm going to explore a little bit. I mean, this is my new home, right? I should get to know it. Uh, this place looks empty, but there's a single casket up against the wall over there. Or actually, I think there's a difference between a coffin and a casket, isn't there? Oh, it's the dissection hall. The mortuary, then. What about the back entrance? I can hear some machinery running inside. Yep. There they are, and there's you. I don't quite remember right now, but I'm pretty sure there's a story behind that painting. It really does feel like she's looking right at you, doesn't it? Right, uh, security room should be back this way, but if we come through here, uh, we cannot climb through the gate there, but I noticed this before. Yeah, there's like some kind of hatch over here. One which we cannot seem to open, and we cannot crouch. Alright, well, I guess I guess there's no time like early to learn how to do our jobs. If we don't learn that, there's not going to be much we can do to defend ourselves. 
Kind of interesting. I still have no idea mechanically how this will actually play. I don't know what this game's about. What about around the back? I just want to make sure... I just, I just want to make sure I know my work area. Oh, there's a big bay window. Uh, Voices of the Void meet this game. Just a dark night for me to look out onto while my eyes are glued to the screen. I'll constantly feel the pull of eyes uh, in the dark around me. Uh, look, we've got our little, we've got our little camping stove. We've got bottles of unknown liquid. Some kind of what is that? Like ramen or something? I don't know. We are living that '90s life. Got a phone, a radio. What more could a guy ask for? Hmm. I don't actually control the camera. Now there's a bit of distortion. I'm just looking all around for any kind of movement. This is, I don't know if I'm still supposed to be looking at this, but this is really tense. And can I leave? Oh, I can switch between the cameras by clicking. Uh, torch doesn't need torch oil yet. That was with a right click. Okay, so I guess I will have my own light source. And nobody out here but the birds. That's camera three showing the front of the church. And the path leading to me. Once again, I don't see anything. God, why is this so tense? Oh, and there's a view inside the church where we have not been yet. Now this distortion is going to make it real difficult to detect any movement we might see. Oh, there's a... Okay, okay, you'll point it out to me. There is a leaky pipe all the way on the opposite end. Uh, don't the... It, it, from a distance, the beams in the fence look sort of like a person with a helmet and their hands clasped in front of them. And this other camera shows the cars in a lot. And the gate. I know what I have to do, I just want to see what each of these cameras actually covers. This must be the dissection room, yep. There's the coffin. And the room itself. Oh, this place is bent on being as creepy as possible, but I love it. Uh, this game has atmosphere down so perfectly. I mean, maybe it could have used a little bit longer in the oven as far as, like, you know, the characters and such, but... When I'm jumping at the creak of my own door... You know you're doing something right. Oh, this is like my dream game, practically. Alright, and all the way across the graveyard, I can see... I can see that arrow. Doug? Don't go digging for any bones, those aren't for you. So, from what we've been told, people try to disturb these graves often. Does that mean there's a lot of angry spirits here? I have to close the water tank. Okay. So we do that over here, I guess? Hmm. A pipe right here. Oh, maybe we have to follow this thing. But maybe it won't be so good for us to get tunnel vision. Maybe we should keep alert as we do so? Hmm. I just noticed there's also some, like, vines and moss hanging all over. That's gonna catch me off guard at times, I think. Uh, everything around here is, like, designed to catch you off guard. Find the death statue. What death statue? Have you ever heard the cries of a demon? I mean, in my career as a YouTuber, probably. Okay, you can't tell me it was always like that when that's just blatantly across the path like that. 
Oh my god! Okay, we might be starting a tad early. Uh... Whose grave is this? Doesn't say. We can't read the names. You 100% were not there before. I can't believe my eyes. No, if that's what you're seeing, you really can't. Uh, what was with the- what was with the found footage thing going on right there? Oh, somebody knocked this over. Shouldn't we... Shouldn't we pick this up? Put it back where it was? No flashlight and equipment, so I guess we'll get one later. The doors to this mausoleum seem like they've been pushed in a bit. Okay... What's our current objective? Check the CCTV. Okay, so that's gonna be the gameplay loop. We watch the cameras, and when things are amiss, we go out and have a look. Did I close the door behind me before? Oh well. Oh well, at least the light is on in here. We do have our safety bubble, however compromised it may be. Can we open these? Is there any equipment we can get? I mean, I really feel like I'm missing something. Eventually it's gonna get dark, and I want that flashlight to be in my inventory when that happens. Well, nothing so far. I really appreciate that, like, it forces you to kind of take your time with these cameras. We don't control the pan, which I was a little annoyed with at first. But it kind of forces us to watch and wait to see what's just behind the blind. Okay, nothing on the far end. Anybody trying to get into our cars? Looks good. You stay right where you are. I'm gonna be waiting for these paintings to change. Why does this place look like it's in such a state? Like, those plants look like they've been, like, knocked over, if they're not just growing up through the floor. Okay, that's not right! Uh, somebody's... somebody's tampering. Somebody's tampering, and it is not my job to go touch these things. I mean, it, it didn't just get up and walk over there. Every movie featuring corpses has to have that line, so, you know, I just figured I'd cover my bases. I've never seen this painting before, so I don't know if it's, like, a real historical one. But... <laughs> you don't look like you have much confidence right now. This is the room where their coffins-to-be are stored. Hello? <laughs> I even leaned- <laughs> IT'S LIKE A LOADY TUNE! Did it just breathe? Oh my god, it was like- it was like it like hushed in my ear or something. Okay, um, can we- can we pick you up? We are not- we are not up to standard on cleanliness or storage. I guess we'll just put you back where we found you. There you are. It's a good thing rigor mortis is set in, and you're just kind of a solid plank right now. Yeah. Yeah!
We're really going hard early, aren't we? Wait, what is this door? Locked. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close every door that we go through. If we see a door open, somebody opened it. God. Alright, so the atmosphere is still on point. That scare... Amazing. Landed even better because, well, <laughs> I had already observed that thing. Maybe we should do something about the skull on the ground. A skull that is not whether it is real or fake. Maybe some localization work is also in order. We're just going to leave that here. We're a graveyard keeper. There's a skull on the ground. We're just going to... Okay. And that's the thing, this game so far is creepy and, well, at times even scary. But I'm worried it's going a little unsubtle in places where it shouldn't be yet. I mean, that painting didn't have to change. The, the whisper was enough. Yes? Please, anything to come back here. It's weird. Already, I'm starting to see this place as a refuge. Well, maybe try calling back once you stop having dial-up. Well, back to the cameras. Yeah, I'm in the security room. Uh, it makes that little noise when it starts to change direction, and it almost sounds like it wants me to focus on something. Every once in a while, we'll see, like, a raindrop go in front of the lens. And I can't quite tell if it's starting to get darker. I'm just waiting for the moment when it decides to do something with those two candle-bearing statues in front of the church. Which we have not been inside yet. Maybe... Maybe next time we go out to do something, we should go exploring in there. Nothing yet. Wait, there's... Whoa, wait! Was there somebody at the gate? I think so. I think there's somebody very tall at the gate! <laughs> uh... Didn't have rejected Watchmen art on my to-do list. Well, I guess we'll go see what you're, you're up to. We have to cycle all the way through to get out. The guy's standing in front of the door. I don't need to tell him to go. He will understand. Uh, so you mean I do need to tell him to go? Oh, we can slide the deadbolt. That's really your course of action. You're not even gonna... Okay, and we can't leave unless we spot what we're looking for? Hang on, what is, what, what, what is he up to? Still there. Doesn't seem like he does understand. In fact, he's not looking at the gate. He's looking at the camera. Almost like he's looking at me. The body's back in their place. Although, it seems like the flicker has moved to another light. This camera pans up and down for some reason. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Oh wait, there's a note here. I'm the security guard of the cemetery, and I'm leaving a message for the next guard here. 
I am here at night between 3 and 4 a.m., and I see a very frightening nun on the east side of the cemetery standing over a grave, but I don't dare to approach her. Her crying is intensely eerie and disturbing, and it's unbearable. I have recently found a solution that can make her voice somewhat more tolerable for you. Just whispered, Jesus Christ, 20 times. We don't know who this nun is, but I am certain that she is not human. Okay, well, I certainly think I can do that. Just throw some frustrating mechanics my way. Was that note here before? I don't even rem remember. Maybe I thought I couldn't check it. I can't interact with the... I can't interact with the thing. I need to rest. What do you mean you're only here from 3 to 4 a.m.? I'm going to be sleeping until 3 a.m. at this rate. All right. If you insist, I'll sleep on the wet, clearly bloodstained bed. Sweet dreams, I suppose. I can't think of anything to do besides head into the sunlight. I mean, we want to run to catch it because once it goes down below the horizon, we are at Vampire Alert 5. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I really hope this is the right call. Maybe if we can align the sun properly between the graves. Uh, this must be hundreds, if not thousands. This is as far as I can go. Oh, wait, there's a light over there. Do you hear that? Video game logic demands it. Are those supposed to be candles or eyes? Like glowing cat's eyes in the dark. Is there something out there? Or is that just like the trash that was there? What? Why is the dish spilled? Was somebody in here? No, it's just trash against the window, okay, but... As predicted, it's completely pitch black out there. Somebody could be standing a few feet away and I wouldn't even be able to see them. Let's just slide this shut. As it should have been before. Can I really not pick this up? Am I really willing to live like this? Alright, well, there's our flashlight, which I guess we can't take yet. Eh. I'm gonna hope that those are the lights of the city that I'm seeing over the trees there. And listen, now we're able to hear the crickets outside. Somehow the company of that noise makes this job feel just a little bit more tense. I feel like I can hear something else here. Almost like staticky or like water dripping. It's so dark I can barely see inside the church. Although I think we will still pay it a visit next time we go out there. Anybody here? This is the far end over by the pipe. Oh, the car alarm's going off. That's the priest car. Okay, uh, we should probably go take care of that. Our visitor is no longer with us. 
You guys still behaving? Can hardly see inside the coffin room. Well, here we go. Are we happy we took the job yet? I mean, this was downright cozy in the beginning, but now... Oh, this is such a different ambiance. Wait, we should... Let's remember our rule. Let's close the door. And probably make this as quick as we possibly can, you know? Let's move forward. I actually don't hear the car alarm from here. Your candle is no longer in hand. But I don't see it anywhere. Oh, we can't actually enter the church. Alright, I imagine this game will allow us to progress as needed. And only as needed. Yeah, quietest car alarm ever. You can only hear it from around the corner. I need a tool from the warehouse. Okay. That's good, because I was just questioning whether I should go explore what this is. So is that coming from over here? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm not investigating your noise. Why... Why is that deadbolt on the outside? Am I gonna need to lock something in here? Bit of a delay on the flashlight. All right, what have we got here? Uh, there's a tool right here. Okay, and that gets added to our inventory. A crowbar. Uh, but we cannot take it with us. Presumably we'll need it at some point. Uh, but then again, that's how the ancient legends go. The only thing that can put down a vampire is by caving its brains in with a crowbar. I have to disconnect the car's alarm wire, otherwise the car's battery may run out. Okay, so how do I do that, though? Where would I find such a thing? I don't know cars. Okay, you're doing it for me. Thank you! I also don't know enough cars to check if that is a solution that would be appreciated or not. Alright, but we're heading back now. And as all job horror entails, the things that happen to you happen on the way back. Nope, 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 nope. You can't have my blood, Nosferatu. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I'm actually... Let me guess, I need to go check the fuse. Yep. Yep. Yep, but I've got a question for you. How come the fuse going out made my flashlight less effective? What I was going to say is I really appreciate the fact that they've let us walk around and explore during the day so that we can appreciate the change in tone at night when it's so much worse. And it was pretty bad during the day. I just... I hope we don't hear that nun. That's actually really cool. They tell us a story, and now I know exactly what to dread as I make my way down these cobblestone paths. Right, right here. Alright, there we go. I was certain that I was going to turn around and see something. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. No nuns today. 
Did you know that uh, that's actually true? Um, in in folklore, the deadbolt is actually significant in that it was originally meant to ward off nuns. Actually, <laughs> now maybe we can spot a glimpse of her. The note said her noise is almost unbearable. That is how I would describe what I just heard. Okay, nothing in the direction where we just were. Nothing in the church either. Hmm. So now on top of everything, we've got ghost nuns trying to jack our car in the middle of the night. All these cameras and I still haven't seen anything. Nobody at the gate. But I am hearing like a weird staticky noise on this one now. Nope, 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 nope. And is it just me or the- oh my god, are those body bags empty? They could be anywhere, if that's the case. And, you know, this is a thought that's only crossing my mind now. They never told us how they died. If there are two corpses walking around out here, what do they look like? How could the bodies have raised? Not a bad question, to be honest. Certainly, certainly crossed my mind. It's just, uh... Oh boy, this is, this is turning into Wee Woo the game. Uh, right out here. Wee Woo. <laughs> Wee woo. Meanwhile, look, we're in this like gothic horror setting and there's just like the city lights towering above us, reminding us that this is, in fact, the modern day. Let's open up. I don't think I closed the door to my place. Close. Oh, why is this flashlight so ineffective? What am I even supposed to do now that I'm here? Like, seriously. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad you're not here. Oh, this place is utterly trashed, too, although it wasn't in much better shape before. <laughs> and there's still one more right here. This really, this really sounds like a police matter. This window looks like it's been boarded. I, I noticed in the hall there that... Oh, it's so dark. I noticed in the hall there that there were cans of spray paint, so I guess this place has been broken into before. Find a way out. A key should be around here. We will not be buried here. I'm not the one who's in charge of that. I'm just the night guard. I can certainly take a message for you. I will relay that information to the relevant people, but please just leave me alone. All right, so there's a key somewhere. It's so dark, I don't even know what that was. I'm gonna have to brighten this considerably. This window is open. There's curtains in the way, but this window is wide open, broken, in fact. And now, we've got to turn around. So this is going to be one of those things where I just pick up my mouse, place it all the way on the left, and... I wonder what these cameras see right now that I don't. Oh no, come on. I got the key. I got the key. Oh, maybe I have to go out the... 
back, I'm watching you. Is that the retort? Tell you what, guys, I think I just thought of a compromise. Maybe we can... Maybe we can just cremate you? I mean, I have experience. I have worked in a mortuary before. Couldn't just be the key to the front door, could it? I'm noticing that... All of these doors have a deadbolt. Hi. There's someone there. Someone much taller than me, with long black hair and flowing white robes. So, like, how about I just stay here? Like, what? Ha just find a corner and wait. Well, I'll tell you why, because there's still one body here. That's why. But that's really what you expect me to do? I can't climb out this window? Uh, I don't really want to climb out this window. Come on, game. Oh, well, I can't. I can't. So, what is it that you want me to do with this axe? Maybe we have to break down this door? They're all gone now. All three. <sighs> but no, I can't break this down either. Oh, I get it. I probably have to break down this barricade and climb up the window! <laughs> Am I just shorter? Is everyone taller than me? Like, like, I suppose those things aren't mutually exclusive. They're actually kind of required to travel together. What am I even talking about? I'll just open the freaking door before I turn into an auctioneer. Jesus Christ. Alright, there's one. 19 more to go. How, how did that guy figure this out? That was a loading screen. That was a loading screen. You did something. Something changed out here. Tab. Keep Johnny informed by phone. Johnny. Johnny isn't the one we need to be talking to here. There are several relevant agencies, like, you know, the police, the, the FBI, p p possibly Interpol. I don't know, who do, who do you get to investigate ghosts? The Scooby Gang? Literally anyone to keep me company. If Johnny could even drive here and just sit in the booth next to me, which I will not be leaving, that would... I was going to close the door, but thanks. It's what I thought. <sighs> you know, the fact that people are taller than me is going to have to stop phasing me because it's been the case for just about every individual we've encountered so far. But I have a feeling that that fact is never going to not freak me out. I mean, everybody just towers over me. All right, let's uh, slide that deadbolt, which I have a feeling is just there as a comfort feature, but you know what? If that's the case, bravo. Giving me, like, some feeling that I'm able to do something about my situation, even if I know it's going to be totally ineffective, does actually help with the horror. Hello? Hello, Mr. Johnny. There's a problem. What's going on there? I just realized that the bodies are not in their place. What should I do? Mr. Johnny? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, Jesus. Okay, 18 more. Whoop. Let's just uh, sit right here, kick up our feet since communication is down and therefore no longer our responsibility legally. Door's dead bolted. Maybe we'll push the bed in front of it. I don't know. Maybe we'll put some covers up over the windows and just chill. Drugs. Huh. Interesting selection of literature.
Oh, do you guys think I was kidding? No, this is the rest of the Let's Play. I'm just chilling here. Alright, fine. And it doesn't look like we can examine this book either, so back to the cameras. Still nothing. Your candle is back. Oh, what? What are you? You look like you're like hacking at something. You built a fire next to you. Investigating this is not my job. Like literally, there's no way I've been trained in how to deal with whatever this is. Oh. Uh, but I guess we interpret you as a vandal trying to break into a mausoleum. Oh, so I guess it is. The camera in the body storage has gone out. Okay, but why is it panning over lights that say no signal and not just displaying no signal? Alright, well, let's get out there. And you're really not even going to let us pick up the crowbar first? Howdy, Swiss guards. Uh, which is what I've come to think of these posts as. Alright, well, we're going to have a lane here where we'll be able to look down from a distance. Although not enough of a distance, maybe we'll be able to see that fire. There it is. But no mystery grave robber. He dug that grave. Is there a tunnel back there? Behind the grave? Is that what I'm looking at right now? Is that what I'm going to have to deal with? Oh, it's been clawed open. Oh my god! Look what devil has do. Uh, you are in horrible shape, buddy. Uh, just how old is this grave? Your oh, that is completely annihilated! Uh, and now you're free. WTF, there is something wrong with this graveyard. I have to leave the cemetery as soon as possible so they don't die myself. Best idea I've heard all night. Okay, so what we're realizing is that ultimately what this is, is a really well done 2013 Unity horror game. You know what? Not even mad. Not even mad. Not even mad. Uh, do we have the gate keys? It's gonna turn out that no. It's gonna turn out that no, 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 no. Was I supposed to be a cemetery guard or a, or a ghost club? I'll not stay here even for a moment. So how about them keys? The lock has been changed. Hang on. That is genuinely horrifying. Just a, a mob of silhouettes sitting in the fog beyond the fence just out of reach of my flashlight beam. It's kind of crazy, the mix of the subtle and unsubtle here. Leaves me imagining if this is a graveyard, just what do all of them look like? if I could see just a few inches farther. How kind of them to let me back in. All right, we need to work up a plan. Or maybe we just need to see what these spirits are up to. We will not be buried here. So maybe there's multiple entities at work and, well, some of them know that this is an evil place. Okay, I think I'm going to be quicker on the cameras 
and not wait for them to move all the way around every time. Your fire still burns. There you are. Our grave robber is in the church, which means that the doors are now probably open. I've yet to see two things happen during a single uh, session, but maybe we'll still check anyway. And this camera just doesn't turn far enough to see them. We're actually a prisoner here, which means... Which means they want us to see something. It looks like there's something on that tray over there that wasn't there before. Alright, well, let's do our job once more. We know what to do, but I want to see how this objective is actually worded. There's someone in the church. Check it out. No new information for us. This is the priest. We have you surrounded. I'm sorry, I thought of that pun on the way here and I just couldn't resist. This might be a very foolish idea. Did I just hear you unlatch behind me? Wait. No, I heard you lock behind me. Okay, so the deadbolt was unnecessary. Thank you. That was just a JPEG jump scare. What is this, a flash game from 2004? Let's see what's in the chest. A note, cool. Needed a whole chest for that, couldn't just have like a file cabinet. An old Bible, presumably. And a place for kneeling in prayer, I guess. We buried ones in this cemetery. Have a message for you. For years, a demon has been buried here, tormenting our souls. Now you're condemned to destroy this demon within this cemetery and save us from torment. Otherwise, a harsh death awaits you. Okay, I've got to go find the crowbar then. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be some kind of ritual that needs to be performed. But we cannot leave. Oh, there we are. We had to pick it up. Oh, we the buried ones in this cemetery. So, I, I was right. So, that's why they won't let us leave. Those who are buried here, I guess, uh, are essentially trapped with the demon. And I'm going to join them if I can't stop it. So... It's like something crawled out of this chest and walked out. Yeah, that's what I thought we had to do. <laughs> we're we're going to have to just guess in any given moment who it actually is that's leading us in this way. Well, let's go. But maybe we shouldn't get tunnel vision. Maybe we should be actively looking around. Are you sure I shouldn't be grabbing the crowbar first? Are you absolutely certain? Oh, we haven't been back here yet. Wait, uh, uh, what is this place? Hang on. This must be the warehouse. Or no, it's adjacent to the warehouse. I need a tool to break the door lock. Okay. Well, I could have done that first. Uh, I, I mean, some elements of this might be a little too much. Some of it might be a little unsubtle, but I am loving this. This game is so cool. It's everything Job Simulator Horror should be. I mean, we're not actually doing as much of the job as I would have liked, but it's doing that in favor of narrative, which is also a choice I can respect. So 
So tell me why you can't just use this for the lock on the gate. Come on now, there we go. Uh, I was actually somewhat interacting with that. They led me here. There must be something important here. Yeah, this basement doesn't need to be this deep. What even is this place? What is its purp- this Smith, 1932. Oh, I see. It's like a- it's like a multi-family mausoleum. Actually, I suppose a more appropriate word would be catacombs. Is that a- that is a shadow of a person beyond that wall. Taylor, is there anything useful in here? Uh, I'm just procrastinating. The fog hanging in that one light makes me think I have to take a photograph here, like this is interior worlds or something. That staircase goes up, so maybe there's another way out on that side? Alright, just go out, light. That's what I thought. The light was coming through a hole in the wall. Meaning there's something beyond it, something that's been sealed away. And I do not like how down here I cannot hear any ambient sounds whatsoever. Jones, 1945. And maybe trying to peek through these bars in a horror situation is not the smartest thing. I feel like I'm just asking to get grabbed by the collar and repeatedly slammed into them. Yeah, things open up a bit more now here. Roberts, 51. This is not exactly efficient use of the space. Look, we've got a coffin just lying upside down over here. If it's down here, I've got to imagine there's a body in there. Oh my god, I just noticed you! Hang on, how... You would make an awesome thumbnail. How, how close can I get you to stay? Yeah. I mean, I probably want a shot of the graveyard for the thumbnail, but still, you're really cool. These are the things I have to think about while I'm trying to survive as well. It really is a multi-talented job that I do. Johnson, 1968. Getting a bit newer now. Hello there. Your graves have been completely vandalized and destroyed, or at least one of you. Is that... Oh, is that you kneeling in the corner, the former occupant? Only, with your grave destroyed, you've got nowhere to go. Okay, well, I'm starting to think then that these shadows are the ones that I need to help, actually. Alright, so we're just filling this place with blind corners for fun, right? Just to, like, screw with the people who have to work down here? I've just realized the eyes of these shadows, they're just like the ones we saw down the open grave in our dream. There it is. That's you, sealed away. I know what this looks like. I played Outer Wilds. You were, like, actually sealed up ritualistically. They needed to put you somewhere, and I guess... I guess whoever was religiously in charge of this place decided to take on the task. Williams or Parrington, youngest child between books and rotting corpses. What does that mean? Harrington and Williams Graves are open, 1915 and 1917. Oh, this place is big. Far bigger than it needs to be. Did you want them to have space to stretch their legs? Because that seems counter to what your job actually is. 
This one does seem to be partially open. But we can't use the crowbar on it. What say you? I'm not afraid of these shadows, really. I mean, if anything, they just seem, like, sad. Okay, nothing here. Alright, so... What do I have to do, then? I'm just gonna ignore the fact that it says Main Settings page on the top right, and the family name is different. But yeah, Youngest Child Between Books and Rotting Corpses. I don't... Maybe there's something over here? I don't know, it's just some curled up fence. Maybe it has something to do with the statues beyond them? Two crosses, two statues. But this one doesn't have one behind it. Oh, maybe... Hmm, I was gonna say maybe we could push this thing back in front of it and that would do something? Oh, oh! We can activate the grave itself, yes! There we go. Inspect the all coffin. That's what the achievement said, I don't know what that means, but we've got the key. And there's a note. Elias, during his 60 years of life, spent his entire life trying to meet the devil. Until one day he was possessed by the devil and began to torment and slaughter people. After a while, he was killed by the cops. His body was eventually laid to rest in a protected tomb underground, encircled by crosses and sacred verses. Elias was a very wise and kind-hearted man, but the devil took his body and soul from him. So why did he spend his whole life looking for the devil? I'm a little confused about his character's motivations here. Alright, well, we've got the key now. Let's check his grave. Oh, look at all this. They really wanted to make sure he stayed where he was, but it doesn't seem like it worked. The candles are lit, as if someone was here today. Well, presumably this all has to be maintained, right? Maybe it wasn't maintained. Maybe something went wrong here. Yeah, Vines, not only is there no wind down here, but that animation doesn't make much sense even if there is wind. I, I guess we're going to have to break in using this bigger axe than the one that I picked up before and presumably still have on me. But yeah, I, I'm wondering if maybe it's not only capable of haunting the souls that are near it, and due to some lapse, it's suddenly gotten more powerful. Okay, so we're not breaking into here. Understood. Oh, we've got to break the shackles. There we are. This seems like a real bad idea. Through all this dust, I can't even see the thing. <laughs> there you are. Oh my... You're who we saw before. Although considerably worse for wear than the vision that appeared to us. Sure, take something from the corpse's hands, why not? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Elias, although the devil has possessed your body and soul... In this transient world from today, you will peacefully rest in eternal sleep because the merciful Lord keeps you away from the devil. Elias, may the Lord forgive your sins and place your soul in peace. 1917, Whispering Winds Graveyard. This is a man who was responsible for a slaughter at the behest of the devil. And we're looking down at his rotting corpse. His eyes may be long gone, but the glasses they peered through nonetheless looking up at us. Ah! 
Well, we did that. Exit the tomb. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of ventilation here. Nothing bad can happen to us on the way back. Nothing at all. Should we maybe check and see if that thing is locked so that he doesn't get mad? I feel like I just heard a very faint whisper. That way is... clear. Somebody's messing with me. Go, 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 go. Those aren't happy sounds. Oh, wait. Is that thunder? Oh, my God. You stopped that, and it had to be the metal one. I'll knock on you, see how you like it. This ain't the way we came in, but it's the way we got. Something tells me that we have not set anything to rest. Something tells me we've just made things a lot more angry. Hang on, this thing is... Okay, it's just dark. I was going to say, this ladder is turning into a full bright Resident Evil loading screen. Oh no. <laughs> Look how dark it's gotten. Oh, this, this is the hatch that I investigated earlier. Okay, I know where I am. And that's, I, I love this about games. You're flickering. I love it when they take place in a small self-contained area, especially in the horror genre, because it gives you a sense of the space that you're in allowing the creators the freedom to mix and match and do different things with that environment and shape player expectations based on that to develop a shorthand so that scares can be more subtle. We were specifically told to avoid this very situation. Okay. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Lady, I said the holy words. It's time for you to piss off. So saith the Lord. Lady, just give me the jump scare. How close do you want me to get? There we go. Still got me. Still got me, because I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Achievement unlocked. Meet the dead nun. So that's why I was forced to go the long way around, because otherwise I would have seen her face coming out that doorway. Well, back to work with us. I gotta say, this game's jump scares are actually on point. They're few and far between enough that, uh, well, they, they're, they're effective. They're properly built up to, all of them. They always come when I'm least and most expecting them. And even when they, and even when I'm most expecting them, well, they're built up to well enough that they still work. Stop, I wanted the deadbolt, not to open the door. Game, why aren't you letting me use the deadbolt? When you don't let me use the deadbolt, it makes me think that something is supposed to come through the doorway. Yep. 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 I knew it. I knew it. We've been cursed by the nun, and now the, the holy deadbolt doesn't work. See, I was telling you about this. But you didn't listen. You thought I was making stuff up. <laughs> the worst part about this is, you know, being a graveyard, everything is just so still. Can hear that car alarm going off again. You're back. You're there. Everything's going off at once. And our friend is returned. 
our tall, lurchy buddy. And Elias has gained no rest at all. Darwin! <laughs> Darwin, you and Jesus started a metal band! Uh, well, I I'm happy for you. I'm happy to see your career is taking off. But please, could you choose a better time? I'm in the middle of something. Uh, well, at least the corpses are accounted for. Although I do not know how I'm gonna expl- Oh my god, that actually- See you in- <laughs> See you in the hell. Something about, like, a crouched figure with glowing eyes is really deeply unsettling to me. I really expected to see the glow of more eyes outside the window. The <laughs> devil does not burn. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if his head caves in when you throw a crowbar at it. Leave the area. That seemingly contradicts the current events of the day. Can we climb out the window? No choice. So we're just leaving, huh? We're not gonna go confront the tall man, the man who started all of this? I mean, maybe that's precisely what happened. Maybe he was saying some words, doing some kind of ritual that enabled all of this to happen in the way that it is. But who is he? What is his relation to Elias? <laughs> we lost our flashlight all around us. We can hear the cries of the dead. Where am I? I died? My, this is... This is what it's like to be down in the... Grave. All of us watched over... By Elias himself. Each with their own group of mourners. And some with none at all. Oh, this is so creepy. Wait, can we read that? Giant warehouse fire ravages city street. Flames leap across road. Look, we can even see the shadows of those above. Maybe we really are dead if this is the perspective we're seeing. You're different from the others. We need to be even deader. Oh, if we if we die down here, do we undie? I'm not going to question the logic of this. I'm just going to do it and hope that the result is awesome. The result is decidedly not awesome. I did not ask to come back and play Amnesia the Bunker again. <laughs> Gotta give it to this game. The lighting is incredible. I only hope I can... I know that it's gonna be darkened, but I hope I can restore it to mostly what I saw. It's a procession. They've come to watch me walk to my grave. Oh, look at them all. If you look closely, you can almost just barely make out facial features. Oh, this game is awesome. Dark. 
absolute darkness. Oh my god. This game's not Polish, it's American. Our grave leads straight back to work. <laughs> It wants us to play the tape. Uh... Oh, <laughs> over here. Yeah, no, that actually makes a tremendous amount of sense. No, seriously, I... I can't figure out how to play. <laughs> the description of the VHS is literally a description of what a VHS is. But how do I actually insert the thing? Oh, I have to right click it. Okay. There you go. There we go. Hello there viewers. Today's true story is about a man who was hired as a security guard at the Whispering Winds graveyard. However, on the first night, he realizes that the spirits in this cemetery are asking him to destroy the body of a demon-possessed man buried there as it torments them. The naive and unsuspecting guard believes them and burns the body of the demon-possessed man. But he didn't know that the spirits are not visible and everything he saw was of demonic nature. Now, the demon has awakened again, and the spirits of Whispering Winds are in torment. Death was the only punishment for this security guard. So they've done me a bamboozle. I'm dead, and now they're rubbing it in by telling me just what my legacy actually was. I've only made it more powerful. Then again, maybe we can security room our way out of this. Or maybe it simply won't let us, even though I can clearly see that there's something on the screen there that isn't this. Oh. Don't... <laughs> Don't look at up. Oh, you're right, there's nothing there. Oh wait, no, I had to pick you up. And then don't look at up. <laughs> oh, it was all a dream. It was, it was all a dream. Let's have a look at the cameras and verify that things are as we believe. Hmm. You know, seeing it in the daylight, it actually does feel a lot more calm, doesn't it? The campfire is gone, although we will check on that grave. Both of you are holding your candles. Everything looks to be in order in the church, although, eh, actually, some of these things have been moved around since I was there last night. Other than that, all looks to be well. It seems my relief has arrived. Darwin is... Go okay, that's a little creepy. And now I'm actually wondering... Wait a minute! Was that always... I, I was waiting for the day the Jesus painting was going to change. But I think that was actually just a corkboard before. Now I don't know. That's pretty cool. There's like subtle things that are changing. Yep, you guys are good, although the place is still filthy. Why am I... Wait. When this thing turns to the left, why am I seeing the camera in the camera? But all looks to be good in the hood. 
The bodies are in their places. There's no sign of last night's nightmare. That's good. Well, let's go see our relief, but hang on. There is something I want to check first. I don't think it's going to let us go inside there. Oh, uh, you, you caw, you crowers. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I thought. Buddy, you are not going to believe the dream I had. I think you'd agree that being the god in this place revitalizes the human spirit. Uh, it does something to the human spirit. But now what? Leave the graveyard? We're... I don't trust this. I don't even slightly trust this. Not one bit. So here's the thing, I saw somebody, because I, I look at reviews before I buy a game like this to get an idea for how long it is. A lot of people were in the upper two hour range and we're only at 90 minutes. Let's see just how far it'll let us go. Oh. Oh, we're, oh, we're actually driving. Listening to this uh, music on the radio that I heavily suspect will be copyrighted, so I don't have to mute the game. I'll try and talk through as much of this as I possibly can, because stuff like this tends to be an issue. And because it's an indie game, I kind of suspect that it's going to be a little bit lax in that department. Oh, look, we can see the slick, like, reflection on the road. And though we do have the morning sun crossing the street in front of us, uh, it does feel like these dead trees are going to cause the darkness to grow ever more. Hang on, is there somebody up there on that overpass? Yep! Hey there, Elias. You're letting me know that uh, our... That our escape is no escape at all! God, that, that was legitimately creepy. Everything seems fine. The music lulls us into a false sense of security. And then there he is. Well, this music is this music right here isn't helping, but you get the idea. Who am I, the penguin? Uh, hey man, I was just in a minor fender bender. Can you give me a ride? What's going on with you? You can you can stop honking now. Oh, never mind. I see you've got one of those day cars from Daybreakers. Have you ever? I didn't get to read that. That's it. Huh. Well, that was... That was Graveyard Shift. And, you know, I, I was gonna say I have mixed thoughts on this, but that's not really the right way to describe this. I... thoroughly enjoyed this. This was really, really cool. It was subtle in all the right ways. It crafted an amazing atmosphere that really goes a long way towards defining this experience. It knows exactly what it wants from the mood, and it never strays from that.
Sure, the game has some jank, which, you know, for a small team is to be expected. You can tell that, like, certain people are just really skilled at certain tasks. The graphics were really good, although the animations were a little basic. The, uh, the ambiance, the sound design was immaculate. But some of the scares were, you know, a, a little bit, like, on rails. Some of them were a little bit unsubtle. But the overall story, while simple, served its purpose perfectly. The scares are far enough between that it allows you to immerse yourself into this role and just let it sink in. That's what I like about it is that like the first 20 minutes or so of the game, it really lets you soak in it. And more importantly, lets you learn the layout of this place and tends to establish things before you actually engage with them allowing you to build up the scares in your own mind before you're actually forced to experience them. Some of the visuals are actually really horrifying too. I mean, a rotting corpse looks like a rotting corpse here. In its premise, its soundtrack, its visuals, and its story, it, it really embraces that gothic setting. But it also plays with it by having it take place in the 90s, before smartphones and like widespread internet use but still close enough that we can sort of relate to that time. The mechanic of the camera is a little basic in that it pretty much just tells you what to do, which is fine because if the objectives were too subtle, it might get a little bit frustrating. But I like that they didn't just use that as a vehicle to move the story forward. I did notice a couple of changes, like minor things in the cameras, and I'm sure you guys will spot a lot more because you guys are great at that stuff. Although there were some times where I felt like it was a little cheesy, a little bit too in your face, and the dialogue and like localization could certainly use some work, there really wasn't a part of this game that I disliked or wished wasn't there. I mean, we had that whole sequence where we were underground in the catacombs, giving us lots of blind corners, which, uh, you know, was perfect for the use of these entities that love to peer out from corners. There was, uh, I was absolutely paralyzed during the segment where we had to enter the room where the bodies were being stored, especially since they had previously given us that scare with the painting. So we've already come to dread having to go in there. And so it knows that this needs to be like the focal point for the scariest part of the game. And the thing is, we never saw those bodies. We know that they're all connected to each other, they're presumably part of a band, but we never actually learn what happened to them, but we know that it must have been violent. It constantly teases us with the prospect that we might have to see their bodies, but we never do. Not even when we learn that they're out of their bags and walking around somewhere. <laughs> and if they were to be walking around, we know that they could be anywhere. It's not so big that you're constantly getting lost, but it's big enough that you're aware that there's plenty of room for spooks to be bumped into around here, and the way they've handled darkness in this actually complements the environment, and I really hope I'm able to get that to come across in the way I edit this. But the way the environment works, our flashlight is good locally, but we can't see very far with it. And the graveyard itself is like this winding mess of different graves and mausoleums. And it's not straight and narrow, there's like curved paths, there's graves jutting out or hanging low at different angles, stones at odd places where they just like stick out of the ground. It's so cluttered and close while still being open and outdoor. Basically what I'm saying is that everything they've set out to do results in a very tight, atmospheric experience. It's short, simple, sweet, and chic. Going for a vibe and executing it extremely well. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.